my name is Leah Lackey. I am a registered dental hygienist and a Burst Ambassador. I do practice in the state of Colorado and I wanted to share with you the four procedures that I perform with the soft tissue diode laser. There's laser bacterial reduction, also known as LBR. There's laser assisted periodontal therapy, known as LAPT. I also use the laser for the treatment of aphthous ulcers and to desensitize teeth. LBR. The laser can be used at the beginning of the appointment to reduce bacteria in the pocket before we can cause bleeding upon probing or during instrumentation. Performing LBR prior to a dental prophy is similar to a pre-procedural rinse, but instead of reducing the bacteria in the oral cavity alone, the laser reduces bacteria in the pocket where dental hygienists take their instruments. The laser helps lower the microbial count in aerosols that we release while using the ultrasonic scaler. It can reduce or eliminate the risk of a bacteremia and can help prevent cross-contamination with probes and scalers. The laser can also be used after periodontal therapy, such as scaling and root planing, to treat bile film in the tissue wall in more diseased pockets. The laser's energy interacts strongly with diseased tissue and less strongly with healthy tissue. Remember to always use the high-speed evacuation near the working area when performing LAPT. If the laser is used properly, it will only be attracted to and interact with dark pigmented bacteria. It will not affect the healthy pink tissue. I also use the laser to treat painful aphthous ulcers. The patient needs to come in the office for treatment as soon as they start to feel the tingling sensation in the area they wish to have treated. The laser can also be used to desensitize teeth. A thin layer of fluoride varnish can be applied to the sensitive area, then use the laser to perform biostimulation therapy. This occludes the varnish into the dentinal tubules to reduce dentinal sensitivity. Diode lasers can be used in dental hygiene to help heal gum pockets and they have been shown to assist in growing backbone. Incorporation of dental lasers into your practice will increase quality of treatment, offering clinical and patient benefits with an added value to the dental hygiene profession. If your state allows you to use a laser, I highly recommend taking a laser certification class and incorporating them in your practice.